Did you know there was already a metaverse in the 80s? No, thickwit. Henry's your human. He's just controlling you. Here you get to be someone else. Well, th th then I, I guess I really am Valentino. In the online game Habitat, players controlled a character that moves freely in a virtual world, interacting with fellow players via text. It was the first attempt at a large-scale virtual community with avatars where people could communicate and interact. That is the definition of a metaverse, even though the term first came up in the 90s. Fast forward to 2022. Today we have 5G, AR, VR and AI. We have crypto and NFTs. Metaverse has become a buzzword in business but the technology behind it is also far more advanced than it was in 1985. And it might finally take off now that the technology has evolved. So let's take a look at the state of the metaverse and where it might go. Even though Mark Zuckerberg tries to make you believe that the metaverse is his product, he even renamed his entire company Meta. His metaverse is only one of many. Most of the concepts behind this idea have existed for years in the gaming world, including the idea that people will spend money on digital goods. Connecting players is an integral function of these virtual platforms, and some view the metaverse as the next stage of the internet. Think of it as an evolution of social media. Instead of streaming your favourite artist concert by yourself, you can go online with a friend to experience the concert in a virtual venue or go online shopping together as avatars. Everything from home with VR or AR glasses. The augmented metaverse will replace the current ecosystem of, of phones and tablets that we use today for accessing information. Instead, we will access that information uh, through eyewear and we will look back at today when people are walking down the street staring down at their phone and think that that's ridiculous. <laughs> And, and when instead it will just be around us and, and it, will not, uh, it will feel natural and it will feel immersive and it will feel intuitive. Why should I get into the metaverse? There's already money to be made. It will facilitate a lot of economic activity. Many people are gonna make money in the metaverse building virtual goods and facilitating the uses of virtual goods and providing services within these virtual spaces. Any type of activity that we might do in media now, we'll be able to do in the metaverse in a more immersive way. The global revenue potential of all metaverses was already estimated at about 500 billion in 2020 and could approach 800 billion in 2024. Facebook, I mean meta announced they'll create 10,000 jobs in Europe alone with their metaverse. But not only will there be a demand for people that build the digital worlds, the metaverse will also need people who work in the casinos, concert venues, or shopping malls of the virtual worlds. Then there are other metaverses like the Sandbox and Decentraland that are decentralized and run on the blockchain. No big companies own them, meaning users own the unique content they create there themselves. Users can buy land or other digital assets with cryptocurrency and own it as NFTs, non-fungible tokens. They can develop their land with buildings or attractions, sell it or rent it out. They can charge for experiences like concerts or shows. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Paris Hilton, as well as some brands, have already hopped on the Metaverse bandwagon. In the online game Roblox, Paris Hilton sells virtual clothing and virtual jet ski rides on her personal island for a fee. Sports brand Adidas sold out 30,000 NFTs of virtual wearables for avatars used in the sandbox. You can connect with other people. The pandemic has left a void which more and more people are trying to fill by moving into virtual worlds. The metaverse claims it can bring people together. Strangers from all over the world can connect to talk about all the things they like, and work communication could be more natural than with video conferences. With your avatar, you can directly gaze at the person you are talking to. The metaverse could therefore be the evolution of social media, a more immersive and interactive form. You can do things you cannot do in the real world. When asked what people would do in the metaverse which they would not do in the real world, 
The most common answer was extreme sports. Others said they would like to alter their consciousness with the help of VR, instead of taking drugs or drinking alcohol. Imagine having a digital trip without a hangover. Anything is possible in the metaverse. You can bungee jump, you can own a yacht, or a spaceship. You can be a spy, or an alien. You can even get baptised in the metaverse. But what about the dangers? With new technology, obviously comes new risk. The platform providers will target us with, uh, with virtual humans that are controlled by uh, AI algorithms. I, I would call them uh, agenda-driven AI agents that are going to engage you in conversation with the goal of selling you something or convincing you of something. And so in this future, in this future metaverse, we could find ourselves uh, talking to people who we think might just be other users and, and not realize, no, this is an AI agent that was uh, programmed to try to sell me something or to convince me of a political view. Privacy abuse, misinformation, NFT fraud, addiction, identity theft, cybercrime, lack of equal opportunity and access, the list of the dangers the metaverse entails is never ending. In the years to come, it has to be ensured the mistakes of the past are not repeated and the metaverse does not end up being controlled by a handful of companies. That seems to be a long shot. Looking at you, Meta. Regulations are needed to protect consumers in order to build a metaverse they can trust. We're still in the early stages of the metaverse, and it's unclear where this is heading. Corporate-controlled VR worlds or user-owned crypto universes. One day, we might be able to appear in a meeting as a hologram. One day, we might be able to take our avatar with all its belongings from one metaverse to another. The metaverse has capabilities that go beyond the real world. More individuals and companies are rushing to take part. Along with the technology for it, it will steadily evolve and bring new opportunities and risks. Are you ready to be part of the metaverse? Let us know in the comments.